Edmund de Wynn was born on the 11th of December, 1883. His father, Arthur de Wynn, the civil engineer, along with his mother, both lived in Cumber, County Darn, outside Belfast. Edmund later attended Campbell College and went to work at the Bank of Ireland. In 1911, a new adventure began as Edmund emigrated to Canada, where he worked for the Canadian Bank of Commerce based in Edmonton. It was here in November 1914 that Edmund de Wynne first enlisted into the 31st Battalion Canadian Expedition Force. Edmund would serve and fight in some of the First World War's most horrific and significant battles with the Canadian Expedition Force, including the Battle of El Wa, the Battle of Ypres, and the Battle of the Somme. On the 23rd of September 1917, Edmund was discharged as a private from the Canadian Expedition Force. And just three days later, and following officer cadet training in England, he was commissioned into the Royal Irish Rifles in September 1917, with the rank of Second Lieutenant. Second Lieutenant De Wind was stationed with the 15th Battalion, the Royal Irish Rifles, in an area to the southwest of St. Quentin when the Germans launched Operation Michael, the first and main attack of their spring 1918 offensive. On 21st of March 1918, at the race course redoubt near Grugy, France, Edmund found himself surrounded and outnumbered as the enemy troops closed on this very important and strategic post. For seven hours, Second Lieutenant Edmund de Wind held this most vital post, and despite twice being wounded, he maintained his position until reinforcements could arrive. On two occasions, and with two other officers, he led an attack going over the top of the trench, whilst under heavy machine gun and rifle fire, and cleared out the enemy from the trench, killing many. He continued to repel attack after attack until he was mortally wounded, collapsed, dying from his injuries. His body was never recovered, and he is remembered at the Posier Memorial at the Somme. The Victoria Cross is the highest and most prestigious award of the British Honour System. It is awarded for the valour and the presence of the enemy to members of the British Armed Forces. Miss Margaret de Wynne was presented with the Victoria Cross by King George V at Buckingham Palace on June 1919 for the bravery and valour of her son Edmund. So today we remember. We pause from the hectic lives that we live and we remember stories like this of so many people who led and give their lives so that we can live in the peace that we live in today and we continue to celebrate the people who give their lives every day as they go out onto the front line in the fire service, in the police, in the prison service and give so much for us today. But not only that, we want to remember today the ultimate sacrifice that was paid once and for all for all of mankind. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, and to lay down one's life for their friends. The teachings of Jesus continually remind us of his great love for us. And today is an invitation for us to pause and to reflect and to thank God for those who have laid down their lives for us. And as Spud has already said, that significant once and for all sacrifice that Jesus paid for us on the cross. The death of Jesus and his resurrection three days later is the most significant moment in the history of the world. And today, wherever you are, whether you're watching this online or whether you're at a congregational service, we encourage you today to pause, reflect on your own life and consider the life of Jesus, his death, burial and resurrection. The decision you make on that is the most important decision you will make in your life. Matthew 11, Jesus again invites us, he says this, come on to me, all you who are weary and heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take some time to rest and reflect today on the most significant person in human history, Jesus Christ. <laughs>